Rest in peace, Sarah. Alright, well, we have the Ark. It's time to go load that up, but before that, we need to go to Johan Rouse's room. Since I believe it's the well, give us the code to his room. I want to know what's in there. always freaks me out. I don't know what the hell it is. I think it's the, the thing following me. And hey, did I look at this? No. Food stuff. Nutrisub. Shaker meals. Dried squid, minnows, repair paste, intravenous. Oh god. Yep, we started run out of, running out of stuff. As you can see, they're out of everything but intravenous, apparently. Everything's crossed out. Alright. What in the hell is going to be in this room? What is it that, that that creature following me? The creature that seems to be fighting against the WoW, I believe. That, that thing didn't want me to go in here. It didn't want me to stay around here. And I believe it's the WoW that gave me access to it. So, what is it trying to show me? This room's well lit, no body. The evil genius. Uh, can barely read that. Yet, although the senses sometimes deceive us about objects that are very small or distant, that doesn't apply to my belief that I am here, sitting by the something. Something, uh, ironing something, a dressing gown, holding this piece of paper in my hands, and so on. It seems to be quite impossible to doubt beliefs that these, uh, something which come from the senses. equations. Oh, hey. I recognize some of these symbols. On the top right, it looks like you have, uh, um, oh god, do I remember what it's called? A limit? Is that, is that what it, I think that's a limit. Anyway, calculus. I'm gonna go over this room really thoroughly. Anything in the trash can? Nope. Just a crumpled piece of paper. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kofsky, Kotsi, and I survived. A Claire is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Kotsi made a run for it. To check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. 
I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly, but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan, so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this Ark business out. But they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I'll finally get to warn... Finally get to warn Dal and Serang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. Wait a minute, something's wrong. Something's, something's wrong. I'm gonna read part of this again. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Okay, so they went to Phi to launch the space, the, the Ark, right? <clears throat> Whoops. Yeah. So they went to Phi to launch the gun. But then they came back from the attempt to launch it. They postponed the Ark launch. They're in a foul mood. Couldn't get any straight answers from them. But they all wanted to remain at Tau to figure this Ark business out. But they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch... Wait. Okay. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Never mind, I was thinking something weird. I thought this was saying that they came back from Phi. Like, a different way than they said they were going to come back. I thought it was saying, like, the climber was going to take them back from Phi, but they showed up, like, before the climber actually got there to pick them up or something. But no, it's saying they got back. The engineers came back from Phi. And then, the day after, they scheduled the climber to pick them up. To go to Omicron. Okay. See, I was thinking that maybe they went to, uh... Maybe they went to Phi, and what came back was not actually them, but copies of them, you know? Like, maybe the originals never came back, but no, I, I don't think that's what it's saying. And not to say that couldn't be the case, of course. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber, all around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron.
Okay, if my idea is correct that it's the WoW that gave me the code to get into here, because it wanted me to hear this stuff, if that's correct, then why would it want me to hear this? Isn't this hurting its case? Is, wouldn't this make me dislike the WoW even more? So maybe it's not the WoW they gave me the code. Maybe it's something or someone else. Well, that's meaningless to me. There's the core, right next to Site Alpha. Which I believe some people have questioned whether Site Alpha even exists. Why did they... Uh, like, I don't remember. Maybe Catherine went over this before. But why did they try to relaunch the, uh, the Ark and then it failed the first time? Did she ever say why? If she did, I don't remember. But look at this. It looks like... The WoW core is at... Is that water storage? I don't know if that's at water storage, but it looks like it's... If you're heading to the Omega Space Gun, if you're heading from Tau to Phi, it looks like the WoW core is along the way. Hmm. There's the core. Jesus, that thing is terrifying looking. It looks like some sort of monstrous egg. That's the growths. Okay, I think that's it. Actually, hold on a second. Eh, good enough. Okay, now we need to get to the dive room. I feel like something's gonna come in here. There we go. Feel a little bit safer. Halted, unable to equalize pressure. Alrighty. Well, let's help you. How about that? Good enough?
Yeah, so this is the track system, but I believe I'm gonna have to stop where the, uh, walkway begins. I don't think this is continuous. I think there's a problem at some point. like spewing structure gel. Uh. Uh. I guess this is where I get off the ride. glowy. Is that the giant squid? Am I hearing the giant squid? Oh. Those lights, that might be the shaft of the space gun. This is Alpha. God, you know what I feel like here? Coming to site Alpha whole place kind of being destroyed and mostly broken. I feel like I've come to one of those... One of those laboratories from, like, a stalker call of Pripyat. You know? You know that feeling? You come into a place where horrible stuff has happened? Like research that's gone wrong or something? And you know there's just horrible, horrible things in here?
Hmm. There might be something over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I'm supposed to go, but it looks like there's a pathway over here. Ah, dead end. Processing away. Tell me what you want. I need you to stop the WoW. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit. It's the news for which the WoW will have itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the WoW with them. But they didn't understand. They put it inside the cabinet. It was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha. Fountain head of the misery we created. And the girl. She figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked. They all died. You. You. You took the gel from the cabinet and made yourself into a venomous snake. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the wow? All together? You. So that's what caused all their heads to explode. That's when the WoW shrieked when it figured out what she was trying to do with the Jill. So I'm made from the poison structure Jill. Well, I guess I'm probably gonna have a decision coming up then, huh? Kill the WoW or don't? I obviously don't trust whoever's talking to me, though. I don't know who the hell they are or what their interests are. I don't trust them at all, but I also don't trust the WoW. like I'm in the body of the many from System Shock 2. Except a bit less organic. This should lead to the WoW. There's no way the WoW is just going to let me walk right up to it, right? There's no way. It's too easy. It's way too easy. Hey there. What the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Feed it, Simon. 
push your arm into the heart. Come on, do it. So the same thing I did before with healing myself, except this time do it with the heart. Hmm. Think about this one. Who is this person talking to me? Who are they? Don't let the earth be consumed by Wow's nightmares. I know the Wow is a perversion, right? I don't want it to continue, do I? Come on. Do it. Even though I don't trust the person who's talking to me, does that matter? Does that change what the wow is? No. Take it easy! I don't trust this person, but it doesn't change how I feel about the WoW. Unless it could be a trick. Maybe I'm not poison. Maybe I'm... Maybe I enhance it. Back off, okay? Simon, who are you talking to? You, you didn't even say anything. I need time to think myself without Simon yelling at me, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the menu and have complete silence. I need to make a decision. I don't trust the well, but there is the chance that this is a trick. That I'm maybe perhaps not poisoned for it. Maybe I'm going to feed it and make it stronger or something. That's possible, isn't it? I don't know who the hell is talking to me and exactly what their interests are, where they come from. Why do they want to kill the well? Is that the body that came back from... Is that Johann Ross or something? Did his body come back from the dead? Is that him? But if that was the case, then he would be controlled by the WoW, right? I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway. Point is, <laughs> what the hell am I going to do? <sighs> what I want to know is who's been feeding me those numbers? Right? Something on the computer screens. The same thing... The same, like, the computer screen. Okay, this is strange. So the computer screen in all over the place has been flashing with messages, right? Like, kill the wow and stuff like that. And it also flashed in two different times with the passcode that I need. The first time was when I wanted to get inside of Omicron, right? It flashed up a password for me to lift the quarantine. And the second time was just recently when it gave me the passcode to Johan Ross's room. So given that those are both coming through, or those are all coming through computer malfunctions, the passcodes, and also the messages to kill the WoW, I guess it actually did come from this person who's talking to me? The person who's talking to me gave me the codes as well as telling me to kill the WoW? But if that's the case, then why would they give me the, the information to get into Johan Ross's room? When that same person before said, there's nothing for us in here, we need to go, we need to leave. I don't, I don't get it. Those seem contradictory. Why would it want me to both leave and also, hey, no, stay and check out Johan Ross's room? Like, I don't get it. But, I do think the WoW needs to die. Although, ironically enough, I might be killing off the human race? If you can even call that life. Do I, I guess, I guess my decision kind of seems to be, do I let the human race live on guaranteed in this messed up robotic form? These kind of perversions of life, or do I put my hope in the Ark Project? 
I guess I'll put my hope in the Ark Project. I can't let the WoW live. I'm gonna do it. God it is. Yep. It's free. It's it's free. Whatever that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that the heart of the well? Oh. oh. trying to hide under a, a thing. It didn't work so well. Jesus Christ, I can't walk fast anymore! Is that thing afraid of lights? Like the giant squid? I don't know. Me closer, thank you. Simon's body's gotta be really messed up now. Come on, Simon! Close, 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 close.
right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. I wonder what the hell the repercussions of what I just did are going to be. I guess I kind of killed the WoW? That or the WoW or a piece of the WoW seems to be just floating around as a giant monster creature. I don't know. I wonder if this game has multiple endings. What if I chose to not do that? It must have a big effect on the story, right? I would think so. Well, anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.